This kind of chart is useful for analytical purposes. If you need to show how the profit of your company changes during the year, a waterfall chart is just what you need. Waterfall chart a waterfall chart, or in Excel it is known as Boric chart, is used to show how the starting position either increases or decreases through a series of changes. For this kind of chart, we should have a start point. For example, I want to set a target to my company. The target is that since the end of the year, I have to spend $5,000. This is my target. If it is more than this price, it is profit, but less is loss. Now it is the last day of 2020 and I want to analyze my company. I categorized my list to months of a year then filled each after the months finished. First month was 500, second month was 300, and to the end of the year. I want to check how was my performance in 2020 year. For this purpose, I need three columns. I insert three columns in between. One is cumulative to see my performance at the end. One is loss, and the last is profit. Now it is time to fill the columns. First, let's fill loss column. We said if it is less than the target, it is loss. If it is more, it is profit. I want to fill it with if condition and say if it is more than the target, show me zero. Because here we need to see just losses and less than target. Multiply it to minus to show me the losses. So target is the origin and it is like a zero in a vector. I type equal to if 5000 is less than and equal to zero minus this cell. If it is not, show me zero. Then expand the formula to other cells and remove the zeros. You see, minus 400 is below the zero. So if condition multiplied it with minus and showed me 400 as loss. The profit is exactly the vice versa of this formula. Equal if profit is greater and equal to zero. Show me the cell. If it is less, show me zero. Because here I need to see just profits. Expand it. As you see, the minus ones are zero here. Let's remove zeros. It is cumulative time. For calculating January, cumulative is the target plus the profit minus January loss. It means at first months of the year, I have 5,000 in my pocket. Let's expand it and add one row as level. I check cumulative, if it is right or not. That's correct. Now, I select the data which I want to get chart from. Go to Insert and Charts. Then select a stacked column chart. The chart is inserted. This is mostly like the bar chart. We need to make changes to get a waterfall chart. Select the cumulative bars. Just once click on the bar. I don't need to see cumulative in chart. Double click on a bar. When the panel appears, click somewhere 
Then click once on cumulative bar. Select the bucket and in fill section, select no fill. And in border section, select no line. Now it is mostly like waterfall, but I want to see the level on chart also. Click on the chart and expand the data like this. The level is sitting in the chart. As you see, its name is here, but its bar is hidden. Click on its bar. Make sure just level bar is selected. In fill, select solid fill. I can change its color. I select targets bar and change its color the same as level one. I want to add labels. From design and chart elements, data label. Remove the cumulative ones. Select them and press on delete on keyboard. The levels label is deleted. Select level bar. Design and chart element and center. Now you decide, does it look like a waterfall or bridge? Which one should we call? 